What's up everybody, my name is Trophy Nuts, the Babbling Belgian, and welcome to a new series I want to try in Dark Souls 3. Uh, meet Untouchable Jacques. Jacques is a respectable, high-class member of the French aristocracy, and uh, he ended up in, uh, in Lothric and the surrounding areas, but he is not impressed by the rebel. But uh, he has one big rule, he does not want to be touched by any big monster. Which means I'm gonna try to complete every boss fight without getting hit. Which means I'm gonna try to do each separate boss fight without getting hit, which means that if I get hit during a boss fight, I restart the boss fight. I'm not going to do a no hit run, I'm not crazy like anything like that, but I do want to try and challenge myself to kill every boss in Dark Souls while not getting hit by the bosses in Dark Souls. Anything in between is fair game, but I'm going to try to get it hit, uh, hit at, well, the, the least amount possible, because yeah, Jacques does not like to get hit because, uh, yeah, these foul creatures will not be touching this beautiful man. But, let's get in. Um, I want to start by showing you the build. Um, so, this is a strength build. I'm just going to quickly go. We're not going to go into the uh, armor, because armor is irrelevant in this run. But I did give him a little bit of an outfit. Uh, while I'm at it, actually, let's give him a hat as well. There we go, lovely hat. He looks like a lovely, lovely boy. But uh, yeah, we shouldn't be looking at his face any longer because uh, he kind of has a bit a bit of a disease and he'll probably start looking a bit off uh, any time soon. So um, we're going with a strength build. This is the build for now. It's just a character that I started working on. As you can see, of course, we're playing New Game Plus, which will make this a bit harder on some accounts and easier on others so mainly strength with a lot of vitality which is now useless of course i might actually change that up once we get uh, further into the game because that vitality is useless in this playthrough a uh, bit of dexterity not much and then we're starting to boost faith and endurance vigor it's not going to change anymore as well so i might actually want to change that once i get to uh rosaria if I want to change my uh, skill set, but uh, we'll see about that later on. In regards to weapons, pretty simple. We're using a heavy broadsword, plus 10, so the maximum uh, equipped uh, broadsword we can get. It's upgraded to the max, and that's about it. We have the target shield for parrying, because uh, it's not that I can't be... Well, I can't be hit, but of course my shield can be hit. I'm not going to start blocking uh, most of the uh, attacks. I'm just going to try and parry where I can. But not all bosses are parryable, of course, but uh, we'll see to those when we get to those. All right, next to that is Lloyd's Sword Ring, which boosts attacks when HP is full. We're going to try to be on top of our health all at all times, because once we get hit, the run of the boss is over. Then the card is Blood Ring boosts rolling invincibility at the cost of defense. We don't need defense because we don't want to get hit either way. Then Clorency Ring plus 3 from the Ring City DLC raises stamina recovery speed. And the Prisoner's Chain, this is interesting. It increases vigor, endurance and vitality, but we take more damage. I might want to swap that out later on. Uh, taking more damage is, of course, irrelevant. But the increases in vigor and vitality are not so useful for me at the moment. So... Um I only get uh, more stuff from the Endurance upgrade. Um, and then we just have the, well, no Estus Flask, because we don't, we don't really need that. Uh, and then we have the Church Guardian Shiv to uh, pull some enemies if we need to. And then the Gold Pine Resin for, uh, well, our first boss fight that's coming up. So without further ado, let's head in. Uh, I, do, I, I do allow myself to get hit like that. God damn you! So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely not doing um, maybe a bit of back backstory about that. I'm not a very, very good Dark Souls player. This is a challenge for me as well. So I'm not going so crazy that I'm doing a run without getting hit at all. Because then the run would already be over. But I don't want to get hit during boss fights. So without further ado, let's go um, and see about our next, our first boss. Or Oscar. Or Oscar. But hey, mon ami, we'll avenge you soon enough. Mon dieu! An archer. So for now, yeah, we're pretty, pretty, uh... Oh, a, a cleric's chime? 
Didn't know those guys dropped that. So yeah, we're pretty overpowered at the moment because of course this is the first area. We're still playing New Game Plus, so that will uh, ramp up rather quickly. Look at that Firelink Shrine over there in the distance. Mon dieu, c'est magnifique. And let's have a little sit by the fire. So we're definitely full health for what is coming up next. Get out of the way, you peasants, come! You will not touch this magnificent body. There you go. So, first boss fight, Udex Gundir. Um, I think this is definitely doable, even for me. So uh, let's head it. I'm gonna try to not start attacking him immediately. Because that's kind of cheesy. Although, I'm, I'm really afraid of doing this. But hey, Judex Gundir coming up. Oh, mon ami, why do you have this sword in your shoulder? Let me help you up. There we go, my big friend. Ooh, what is that growing out of your shoulder? Are you happy to see me now? Oh god, he does not look happy. Oh yeah, damage is pretty good for now. Oh Jesus Christ, okay. I'm a bit nervous, which should ease up later on. But uh, for now, this is this seems to be doable. Yeah, I got hit. God damn you, you big baluka. I must say, I don't think that much damage with particularly weak armor, but uh, let me save you the trouble. Let me save you the trouble, Gundir. Goodbye, sweet world! So, next attempt. Let's do this. Oh, yeah, Perry. There we go. Goodbye, sweet prince. Hit him again. Come on. Come on, jump. I know you can. Oh god. So let's just stay over here. And this should be fine, yes! You have not touched me, Mr. Gundir. Goodbye. So, um as you might have guessed, these episode might these episodes might be pretty small. Because yeah, um if this works out pretty quickly, then Episodes will be small if I struggle a lot. Episodes might be a bit bigger. But uh, Jacques is really pleased with his first accomplishment. We did not get hit during Udex Gundir. So thank you guys enormously for watching. This was Untouchable Jacques Part 1 with a yeah pretty easy first boss, of course. But um, there's more to come. So next up will be, of course, the magnificent Vort of the Boreal Valley. See you guys next time, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like it right here on YouTube, and subscribe if you want to see more. So thank you guys, and also for watching again, and I'll see you guys next time. Au revoir, mes amis.